So today I want to play with the new Poro, the prototype Poro bot. Let's go to Eternal and let's play one copy of Glory's Evolution. And then we can just play like some removal, like say Exbliterator. And this should honestly be enough spells for prototype Poro. And then we put in, uh, we put in Victor. And then the rest we just fill up with Poros. This has to be the deck right now. We have Victor and Porking as our champions because Victor loves those creative Poros. Also becomes his own win con. And besides that, it just plays like any regular Poro deck. You just summon some small fluffy dudes. You buff their stats and eventually you just win the game because you keep swarming and playing units when you really shouldn't have any cards left to play. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, let me set up camera angles very well. Uh, the quick extreme is absolutely still happening, but I'll probably have to like either rent the place or find another place to do it. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it like this. Yeah, technically every single day is a cooking stream because I cook decks. I don't burn down the kitchen. I am the Gordon Ramsay of Runeterra. Did you see the new TFT set? Yeah, I was a little bit tempted to try it out. A little bit. Maybe I should. People want me to. Yeah, perhaps. Cooking Poro snacks? No, just cooking Poros. <laughs> just throwing some Poros in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a pan and boiling them. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. Did you already do the Kaisa cosplay? No, I will be making an announcement for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to knock out every single gold that we had on the the subathon this month though. And I, it it might be early next month because I like doing it right after the expansion because then there's a little more interest in Rune Terra. So doing all the Rune Terra stuff when people are actually playing the game might be a good idea. Try the new TFT set today, but my god, it's demanding to learn a new set for the seventh time or something that I just don't feel like it. Isn't that part of the fun? Like, you've been playing the same set for, like... How long does the TFT set last for? Like, six months? Haggle Slag. Haggle Slag? I love Haggle Slag. Chocolate Sprinkles. Thank you, Mr. Hanky Pie, for the 28 months. Power is mine to command. What There's that story on the universe yeah. website where a dude eats a Poro and it multiplies in his gut and then they burst out alien style on the universe website. Really? I mean, it makes sense if you like, I, I mean, I guess it doesn't. It's not really related, but you know, if you if you like feed too many Poro snacks to a Poro on Howling Abyss, they just uh. Explode as well. Yeah, the, like new sets to me seems like the most exciting time to play TFT, but I I mean, I could be wrong. It's uh, like to me, a new TFT set just feels like a new expansion in Rune Terra. It's like new cards, new new strategies, new things to learn and play with. Keeps it fresh, keeps it exciting. The crisp chin. Thank you for the prime sub. Thank you. Appreciate the support. Fill your lungs and cry. Ball Yes, of course. Might have been better to play the affectionate Poro. Overwhelm. The Zephyr heralds the squall. Okay, so we always start here. There's a lot of creative cards in this deck. There's creative Poros from Poro Stories. There's creative snacks from the King. But uh. Needle Gen is kind of scary. It is also but it takes time, and I don't have patience. I guess. See, that's what that's what I don't that's what I don't really like about TFD. I think it's like I I feel like if there is a new expansion, you should be able to look at the new stuff, and that way just kind of decide what you want to do and what you don't want to do. It's like okay, these are new units, these are new traits. This is something I like. This is something I want to play with. But with TFT, you never have that choice. You just get a random selection of units every single time. You can't be like the, oh, I'm the assassin guy. I'm the, I don't know, whatever whatever guy. The, 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 the bruiser guy. The mythic, I think, is a trade guy. Whereas in Ring Terror, you can be like, hey, my favorite champion is Victor. I can be the guy that plays a lot of Victor. Rally the mighty wind. Does that make sense? Oh, I missed you too. You're the elusive guy? That's not what I said, okay? That's not what I said. 
the elusive blocker guy, maybe. Uh, personalization is a big thing for me. And it, it's not like that doesn't exist in uh, in this game. Or rather, it's not like that doesn't exist in TFT because you have boards and guardians and whatnot. But still. Yeah, I think we're not, uh, we're not doing too hot here. Like, I, I should have probably kept one Poro to time with this. But it's pretty wild that they play the Marium to get spell mana. A game. Go on then. Uh, but I guess it, it's, you know, it's this deck, so they draw a million cards anyway. Okay. Got uh, to level the king. We're taking so much damage this turn. Guess we're doing this the ugly way. Okay. Dance with me. It's actually not room. that bad, I guess. What have Poros done to you? Yeah, I like these two more than the rest. Kind of uh, some strange plays here. I'm mostly worried about the king dying, but we do have another one. There's a chance we have to play the what is this called? The Council's Call. The Zephyr heralds the sword. What's the best draw here? What terrorizes you? Take me to them. Poro stories. Random schizo thought about the picture with Majin. What if you actually did hover hand because you refused to touch the Eonia and join a Kappa? Oh, that's that's Hyrule. <laughs> Hover hand to Majin to, because I refuse to touch Ionia and Juniors. Honestly, if, if there was ever a reason for it, that'd be it. That would be it. <laughs> no, man. Ma Majin carried that. I can't, uh... I can't, I can't take anything away from him. We're getting so many snacks here, by the way. Oh my god. Free snack, good. And uh, Solid, take for the 29 months. Thank you. Challenger, hell yeah. That is good. Let's do it like that. They have seven mana. There's a good Don't chance that this don't work. But with the frost attacks and three poor stacks, I think we are looking pretty good. That poor king dude makes weird noises. Cryo, did you see the... Uh, I don't think you did. I, I had a tournament run video. Very heavily narrated and edited. And that... I literally said in that video, the reason I can't bring this, this deck to the tournament is because of the freaking sounds that this thing makes. I can't do it. I can't do it. It can't be done. Bro, do you have a Mystic Shot here? You're using both your Neelas when I'm killing one of them? them. Oh. Anna, is, it time? is it not cute for you guys? Start, no. <laughs> just no. What is happening? Celebration can truly begin. Okay, I I don't think I agree with that play. On the scale, Spending both mana, not meta, having any cards here. Come to our house socks versus house shoes. Skill of one to current OP meta. How meta are house socks versus house shoes? Always got what I want. House shoes are uh, I I don't know I don't know how anyone Perhaps could ever do house shoes. Others, it's always house socks. Uh, doesn't matter if it's meta or not. You can't be taken serious if you do that. Yeah, house shoes, that's... I mean, slippers... Okay, to be honest, I have these. Th these are... Like, I wear these all the time, right? To keep my feet warm? I don't know if that counts, but I don't count those as house shoes. And even then, socks are still just more comfortable. Okay, well, that's a Neela, then. Okay, so what we can do is we can wait for Nila to do her thing and shoot us for two. Oh my god, wait, leveled Victor with creative pores next is insane too, actually. 
When battle is joy, the revelry is endless. Okay, there's no way you can activate this. There's no way. Yeah, we'll do this after uh, Neil attacks. Accept my challenge. You have no mana. Let's see how you handle this. Also, thank you for the bits, Miss Mac. Genius in action. <laughs> We must improve. We must evolve. God, I miss Victor, man. I actually, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting, or I'm using my Victor mouse pad right now too. Can I show this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna manhandle you guys. Look at this. Look at that. Sweet victory. I mean, that kind of that, that was that was a weird play from opponent though. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. Of. I don't even I don't even see this as the camera. I see this as you guys. So if I if I do this, see it's like. What, what does that make you think of? Do you enjoy Victor in League 2? I, I never used to, but I do now, yeah. I, I do... I do because of... Um, I've got Rude one Terra. last question. When are you going to import the software so you can use your Wii Wheel as a remote and play Runeterra with your wheel? Wheel Runeterra gaming? Oh my god, if I could do that, it would be such good content. I, I can't I can't play Four of Snacks against Agron. Yeah, it's um Victor was a champion. I didn't really play until I have my orders. Rune Terra. Rune Terra made me fall in love with Victor, and I was like, hey, let me try this guy for real this time in League. I basically play everything in League. I play I, I play every champion. I, I was a Phil gamer. So I, I played him at some point, but then I really tried him, you know, and just spammed him for a little bit. And then I realized, oh, this champion is actually fantastic in League too. Oh, football head. What are you doing? It's like that with a lot of champions for me, to be honest. Like, I play them in League once or twice, and then I realize, oh, I love this champion in Rune Terra. And then I just spam the hell out of them in League as well. Like, Nautilus is a good example. Scion, I, I, I love Scion in Rune Terra, and then I just spammed him in League too. I mean, you know, part of the reason is Baus, a little bit. <laughs> Maybe. After this one. Um, I've always liked Zoe though. Zoe is a champion I already played before. I realized I really like her in League Two. Okay, I want to play this in a Poro Snacks here. Five, yeah, they they play one unit. I block it. Five damage. And they played the wrong Jin. My top lane brain literally stops me from playing AD carry any squish. Yeah, same. Uh, like, yeah, I don't even play squishy support. I mean, actually, I, I play Bart, I guess. Remember. Does Bart? Bart doesn't count as a squishy support anymore, I think, does he? <sighs> yeah, I, I shouldn't play this. I really want to play this, but it's bad. I play Bart, Pike. I play. I, I used to spam Braum. Remember the objective. Make the Empire proud. What have I told you? Stay out of there. The curtain rises. I'm trying to think. What else do I play? I like Rakan. I don't love Rakan, but I like him. I have prepared something very special. The thing is, um, I can't Hexbliterate this Jin unless it is their attacking turn and they tap under four mana. Victor's really good. Yeah, I can't think of any other support. Like, I like Renata Glass, but I don't play her that much because he is just too squishy for me. Uh, oh, we're pretty dead, aren't we? Uh, 
Eh, let's do this one. This one could get life. I mean, they both can get life soon. Okay, colorful snacks is good because again, opportunity for life steal. Rally sake, I don't like Rel. I know you love Rel, Cryo. I know you've carried me multiple times when we played League when you were going Rel. Um, never care for Soraka until she was released to LR. Yeah, in 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 uh, Ring Terror, I quite like her, but I don't like that she's so limited to like one build, you know, one deck. Routes closed. I think it's really funny because um, me and a friend, we used to play, I used to play Fiddlesticks and he used to play Heimerdinger. And that was like a lane we played so much. And that actually turned out to be meta for a little while. Or it was like Casio Heimer or something or Casio Fiddle. I don't, I don't remember. We also played Cho'Gath Senna <laughs> before that became a thing. I mean, there's also things that we played that that never really came through. Like uh, one of my favorite lanes that we did was Mordekaiser Swain. Both kind of reworked. That was fun. War Mason reporting for duty. For the glory of Noxus. <laughs> yeah, pretty, uh, pretty interesting place here. Pray for lifesteal. I don't. No, nah, I don't think lifesteal does anything. They need to burn us down here from, uh, from full. So it needs to be like double. No, double fervor doesn't do it. I don't think they have anything here. Actually, this is. They could play like the LeBlanc spell or something, because it is eternal. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what that was, but as soon as we killed that second Jin, they just lost all their burn damage. I really think they should just kept the Jin in hand, and they would have been good. Like, I don't think people run the LeBlanc spell on anti Jin, but they can, you know? It's possible. It's it's something I might need to play around. Yo, the prototype Porobot coming in clutch. Hex Bliterator is good to kill Trash. We keep one Poro stories always. Here it is! Here it is. Prototype Porobot. Let's see how good it is. If it dies, it goes on the Hex Bliterator or the Formula. It's it's lit. It's gonna be so good. Three mana missing. I mean, it's it's fast we burn, like... Say we want about any gin, but if you don't have fervor, you you lack any way to like close out the game at fast speed. So LeBlanc spell does do that. All right, we're gonna play our daring Poro on turn two here, guys. Don't worry about it. I actually think this card is really good. I think this will make Poro decks a lot better, and I think it will stop people from playing Targon Poros and actually play um, tilt over Poros more. I think Sunk Temple is also really good in this deck. But whatever. I am blocking this by the way if they attack. Because they need a unit to activate their kill spells. I'm playing Freliopores, love Bone Bonk. Ah, the classic. Turn one, play Poudiporo, pass turn two, turn three, Bone Club. Six six go bonk. Where'd it go? It went there. <laughs> I kind of low-key wish it went on formula. Okay, that's a good one. Victor makes a lot of sense in this deck, man. Victor does make... I, I really think that uh, Victor would be second champion for this deck if it actually came to that in standard. Like, leveled Victor. Making Poro Snacks like one mana. The Poro Snacks from the Poro King. That's, that's good, man. Passing is great here, sure. I want Victor for standard. I I have a feeling it's not happening. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know if I want to pass more. Do I? Like, we scale harder. Yeah, we do. All right. Yeah, let me see. Piltover and Zaun champion. So rotated right now is Ezreal, 
Vi. Well. There's nowhere to hide. Yo, we get him back? Oh, that's sick, actually. I love that. That, that is really cool. Okay, Ezreal, Vi. What else is rotated from Piltover? Victor. Ezreal, Vi, Victor. Is that it? I mean, there's no way they're bringing back Ezreal, so it's between Vi and Victor. Uh, I mean... Uh, Victor... Victor could do it then. That's not, not... Now it's not entirely unlikely, I guess. Where'd you go? Oh, you're not dead yet. What happens if you soul harvest this? Could you have multiple prototype Porobots go on the same spell? That'd be kind of funny. You print this, and then you play like one burst speed six cost spell, and you summon like a million Poros? Could Vi work with Samira? Yes, yeah, no, Vi... Vi is the kind of champion that basically works with everything. Victor kind of fits PNZ plays. I mean, I agree. What do you like? What we have to realize, though, is that, um... We have to realize is that free spells, zero mana spells, are dangerous. And Victor would probably break a lot of stuff. As much as I hate to say it. Uh, Victor would break a lot of different decks. That's the only reason I don't really think he's coming back. Okay, all three of these Poros level the king. Then don't say it, Victor is perfect. I love Victor. I, I, I Like, meme decks are so fun with Victor, because... He, He's like, he's his own thing, he needs to be dealt with, or he turns into a win con. But he also like actively powers up your deck if he levels. Plus you have that zero mana spell for synergies. It's 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 the perfect champion. But yeah, he, we've seen with decks like Seraphine that he does kind of break stuff sometimes. If Victor was in standard, I'm pretty sure that uh, Victor Seraphine would be the best deck in the game. So what, what champion would have to rotate out? I think I, I'd be down, man. Rotate out Seraphine and bring back Victor. I, I actually think... Seraphine would be like the only thing that breaks Victor, right? I actually think that would be the only way to do it. But I don't think Seraphine is rotating. But the only way you can bring back Victor is by rotating Seraphine. Oh my god. But Seraphine is really popular? Exactly, yeah. Ooh. Hello, is this the best soldier 76? What's up, Nick? Yeah, you're welcome for uh, for the carry yesterday. My, it was my pleasure, really. My soldier 76 is a little bit legendary. I don't just have aimbot. See, the thing, the thing about my soldier 76 is that when I press ult on him, my aimbot actually turns off. Not that I have aimbot, I'm just really good at aiming, and somehow it gets, you know... Okay, whatever. I don't know where this joke is going. Uh, that's... <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Let's forget it, alright? Well, that was a good turn for Bone. So, we lost. <laughs> Actually, no, dude. If the Poro went on formula, we could have played formula, got a kind of fast speed or burst speed blocker, with a potential for the uh, the frostbite spell. Frostbite? <gasps> okay, okay, we're good. Okay, we're gonna, dude. Uh, another really good spell actually would have been the challenger one because then we could kill trash. But this is good to stop Nasus. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, this game is gonna be uh, this game is gonna be a little wacky. It's gonna be a little crazy. Okay, fearsome. I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna have to attack. So I think can win, but that castigate was pretty good. That was a good castigate. I thought you only played like rats, like a rat in FPS. Yeah, most of the time I just play Junkrat and I lob my bombs from uh, across another side of the wall. We enter an age of men and gods. Okay, but that's not fair. 
Okay, I, I still think we can win though. We dead? Mm, possibly. But uh, Glory's Evolution could do it. Bro, they had four cha- well, three champions. Uh, I think this- Maybe winnable. Barely. Okay, so eternity stretched out before me. Yeah, I have to play Victor. Humankind must realize its full potential. Yeah, the second um Join the, the second ass was pretty killer. But it's not Jover until it's Jover. Why are you elusive? Why are you elusive? Oh, it's from the, the, the rainbow snacks. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, that was it. That was, that was the only way we could win. I think we just lost it. All right, did you? <laughs> Oh, it sucks so bad that the prototype poor about went there. That egg. Did it move? Oh, the miracle of life. Keyword snack is best snack. It probably is right now. The um yeah, the issue is just these big boys, and if they get to 20, then we just lose to atrocity. I'm more scared of a siphonic strike. Like again, if the prototype Poro went on the one of the formulas, it would have been really good for us. Let's see you play Pilot Victor. All you've seen is an elusive Victor that instantly dies to Soul Harvest. But yeah, it does feel good. It, it feels good. Yeah, see, that's champion number three, and it's it's really bad that they have that. Life and death. That's the one that uh that's the one that does it. Killing Thresh is sus. Yeah, but if I don't kill Thresh, I lose to Thresh having Challenger. So I'm just gonna ha have to hope that they don't have six champions. Plus the Cassigate that basically got us in this situation. Yeah, they can and will kill from 20. Yes. Yet is the wind that the Man, our pores are so big, but the Nas are just bigger. Oh. See, here's the thing, right? If they have atrocity, I lose no matter what. I'm always dead. So I might as well try to rip the Glory's evolution and see if there is an angle there. I, I If they have atrocity, they have it. I, I literally have zero cards to play around it, and they, they should know that too. Oh wait, it does summon instantly now. Bro, if they have six, well, they have five champions, I guess. They have double trash and three Nasuses. No, they have, they have double trash, double nasses, I guess. All right, yeah, go for it. All right, yeah. <laughs> and, and like no combination of cards would matter there at all. They actually, they, they drew like minimal amount of cards and they had every card they needed. I just, I can't get through that. The Cascade was just death. Is Targon version better? Um, Targon version has been meta for a while, so there is a good chance I can't answer that question. I I think the Pilto version is probably better, but I don't know what it would look like refined. Uh, 
explosives primed. <laughs> Not attacking. I mean, it saves some damage. We need to go bigger, though, to beat this deck. Because once they start spewing out big overwhelm cards, we need uh, we need big poros. I have the best job. Oh, my God. Where did that one run off to? Let's boogie. Howdy pours are pretty good though. Um, I believe there isn't much this deck can do oh, to stop the king. After this one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So we need one poro to level up the king. That isn't one of these. Four, this will be five. The winter's claw strikes. Yeah, we'll pass him. Wink on us go wide. Yeah, and they're gonna play uh No, they're not. Oh man. That's me, unless I get a frostbite. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Exactly ten. I've got work to do. <laughs> One of Darius, probably. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I gotta use that, right? Still probably is loose to the Darius though. Brother. The challenger was good, but I think what I needed uh, was the frostbite to stay alive. Okay, come on, frostbite. Oh! Oh! Get out, high rolled. None shall oppose me. They can still push through nice damage here, cozy. but I think they're dead. Pyromancer QC, thank you for the two ones. Oh my god, they had such a disgusting start, man. Jesus Christ. But after that start, we just didn't allow them to push literally any damage at all. Press on. Follow along. 
along, little ones. Gave me quite a fright. Colorful snacks is good. I mean, they should be dead here, right? For me, the spirits dance. Man. I mean, we drew perfectly there. I'm gonna be completely Thanks. honest. We like the the frost attacks were basically everything there. I think we were alive even without it, but the fact that it had like five axes probably meant that it was likely that we die anyway. That Drave level was so nuts. Player title. It's on. Uh, I posted a little something on Twitter to ask for help. The the ones I'm deciding between are High Roller, Pink Hater, and Elusive Blocker. <laughs> That's, uh, th those are the ones I'm contemplating. I, those aren't approved. I don't even know if they would allow those. Yeah. It looks like uh, Elusive Blocker is winning, though, with 46%. So there, <laughs> there is that. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Well, if there's nothing to stun for them... Actually, they could have Katarina here, and that's bad. No, I have this for Katarina. No going back. Is that worth it? Quick as the blade. Sure. Good ass for Hearth of Stone. <laughs> As for twitch.tv slash snoo. <laughs> that's actually that's pretty genius. I actually like that. Okay, uh this goes in the formula. It's pretty great. Wait, what happens if this dies? Follow the wind, but watch Shuffles back. here, and then Sunka Temple gets rid of it. I don't know what, what happens. It probably stays with the card, and then we draw that formula, and... Huh. There is some anti-synergy here, actually. Yeah. Probably correct to just kill that one off, then. There it is. Yeah, the anti-synergy is, uh, we're updrafting cards, so they go under six mana sometimes. Yeah, that's not good. Now who's got the upper hand? They have assembled Exodia. Play Twirler, Katarina, Yasuo into Windswept Hillock. It's, uh, it's pretty good. The King! I should probably use this, right? Well, it shuffles more. What if I use this and then we get like a fat draw? Hey, what's up, Grappler? How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Been uh, been looking at a lot of TFT content actually. I saw your video, the Timo carry. That looked really fun. I might have to try out some TFT uh, at some point as well. I almost completely skipped the last set. So it's Daring Poro, Prototype Poro. See if you can get into box block event if he does one. I might, I might scale. I think it's too big of a commitment for me. I didn't really enjoy it last time. I wouldn't want to take a spot of somebody that would actually want to play in it, I guess. DFT Blade Dancer stream. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, it's supposed to like, I don't know how much I'd commit to it. So I, I, I just feel kind of bad, I guess. Okay, the prototype Porobot is on that one. One mana, get one mana back, so it has to be the best choice. We have a one mana snacks here. Another frost of snacks. That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> Wait, you thought you were stunning me? But all my my entire board has more than five attack. What happened? Uh sir, that is a misplay. My stuff needs to be above 4 power. Below 4 power. <laughs> I'm so tempted to use the Poro Sadi mode, but I'll I'll stop myself. <laughs> Wanna see these moves up close? I played I played Overwatch 2 for the first time in like a year yesterday. And I was having a pretty good time. I was popping off at Soldier. Why would he cast that we have 5 power? <laughs> Is he stupid? Does opponent know? All right, sure. I main widow. I respect a good widow because I I know I respect a good widow widow because I it, it infuriates me when I lose to them and get one shot all the time. I do all right. But does, does this one level? Maybe I do have a future. Why was that one the strongest then? Wait, this was a 9-5? Stun the strongest enemy, it stunned this. Because it was already stunned, I guess, it goes to the second. Non-stun, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was the case, but that makes sense. Okay, Temple's done its job. The prettier the rose, the sharper the thorns. Oh, see, the discounts. We can't use it now. Shut up. <laughs> okay, well, he's back. Glorious. Well, uh, what, what deck is that, Marshall? What, what is your tier one deck? Oh, they're passing. They have two stuns. I don't think there's a real downside to doing this. If they end up stunning literally everything, we could just set up Glory's Evolution maybe? I would assume this takes all their mana. Plus their Yasuo dies. Oh, okay. That makes sense. But, I mean... We literally have infinite refill, too. Okay, GG. Respectable, respectable. S small misplay from opponent using using war when all our board had five or more attack. Is what it is. GG. <laughs> man, yeah. Temple is kind of good in this deck, man. It's, uh, it's, it's, just, it's just a good card. Shift.